and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create button or icon links in your Canvas course. And there are a couple of different ways you can do this. It just really depends on personal preference. So I wanted to show you an example here to start with. This is a professional development course where I have created several different button icons already. And they are set up so that whenever you click any one of these pictures, it's a link to another website. This is just best practice to make things really easy for your students to navigate and to make things visually stand out to them. So if I click this button here for meeting modules, it takes all of the people in this course to our most frequent or up-to-date lesson in this professional development course. Now, if you're looking in your Canvas courses, I technically built this on a page and there are lots of resources built out for you in your Canvas course through our Canvas course template through our BCSC template that we applied to your course. So here's an example of a page here and some links already set up for you. But if you wanted to customize these or change them or make them your own or even add your own pictures in case there's a few more you need to add, it's very easy to do. If you are an elementary teacher, then your BCSC curriculum links are already set up for you. So I would not change those links, but you can change some of the other ones in your course and it's very easy. So the first thing you need to do is open the Canvas resource where you want this image button, uh, this clickable icon to be located. So for this example, I'm in a page. And to get to your pages menu, I'll just click pages if I'm in the secondary view in Canvas. If I'm an elementary teacher, I'll need to click manage subject at the top left corner of the screen and then select the pages menu from there. And then I'll create a new page or edit one that I already have. So for this example, I'm just going to edit a page that I've already created. So here we go, I'm on this page and I'm just gonna keep scrolling on down I'm gonna give myself a little bit more real estate to work with here. And I'm just going to add another image to this page. So the first thing I need to do is save the image that I want to be created for this icon here on my computer. So let's imagine that I want this icon for my students to be some type of additional website for study tools. So I can right click on this image and save it or I can download it, it just kind of depends on um, what website you're getting this from. You could do a Google image search and save it from there. And there we go. All right. So I, if I come back to my Canvas course here, what I'm going to do is this rich content editor toolbar. It's called the RCE in Canvas. I'm going to tab down and I'm going to add in that picture. And there's a couple of ways you can add in a picture in Canvas. You can click the icon button and upload. And I can also drag and drop that picture. And that's a newer feature in Canvas, the drag and drop, since we did our training in February of 2023. So I'll upload and I can locate it on my computer wherever I saved it. And it's always helpful to add alt text so it's accessible. And submit. And once I click submit, it adds the picture into the page. Now, if this is way too big, um, what I like to do is drag and drop to change the size here. And it tells me what size I've made that if I'm unsure of these other sizes of pictures, I can double check them and make sure that this one is about the same size. And you can even get the dimensions if you click image options so it can match and be exactly the same size. So after I've added this picture here, the next part is going to be setting it up as a link. So when I'm in my canvas course, I'm going to make sure that I select this picture because this is what we want to act as the hyperlink. You will know that it's selected after you highlight it and click it and there's a little box around it. Usually it's a blue box. Once I have done that, I'm going to come up here to the link button. And you have two options for your links. I can add a, an external link. So if this is a website for a resource that's not in Canvas, like any of my digital textbook tools or study tools, like how I was creating this website. Um, let's imagine that we're using this as Quizlet. This is a study website. I want my students to go to there, all right? Then I'm gonna select external link. However, you can also create links in Canvas to course items that you've already built within the Canvas platform. So if I want this link to take my students to a module or Canvas page that I've built or Canvas discussion board all within this course, I'll select course link. And then from there, I can find whatever Canvas item that I want to have this link to. And I would just select it from this menu and it sets it up. For this example, I'm going to do external link. So if I click external link, it opens a window here and this is where I need to paste in that URL. So what I want my students to do is to go to Quizlet as their study tool. So I need to copy this hyperlink in another window and then come back to Canvas. And when I do, I'm gonna paste that in and then I'll click done. 
And whenever I am finished with that, I will scroll down to the bottom of the page and click save to save my edits. And then I can practice this hyperlink. So if I click this picture now, it should take me to Quizlet and it does. So that is just a helpful hint there for um, setting up your pages so they have these nice little icons and to make things a little bit more streamlined and user friendly and better to navigate for your students.